Here with third year pales forward, uh, Najee Marshall. You know, you're up in so many different statistical categories this year. How does your mentality and approach different from this year than it has been in the previous two? I think, you know, it's cliche to say, to say but controlling what I can control. Um, I think, you know, I got into the mental game last year and, you know, just really coming this season, I prided myself on not playing that and just doing all that I can when I'm out there on the floor, you know, just doing what I can, whatever the team needs me. And, you know, that's been really working for me this year. You know, when you start to experience some success in this league, what guys will say all the time is the game has slowed down, right? You see the game a little different. How much has the game slowed down for you? Definitely a lot. Um, you know, I'm starting to see, you know, where I could be effective at when I get the ball, you know, outside of the superstars having it most of the time. Um, I'm seeing where I can, you know, create my niche for on the defensive end and how I can be aggressive here and how not to be aggressive, how to get – two more extra rebounds. So, you know, definitely just small things that have, you know, made the game easier for me and also just slowing it down. Well, one of the things I've noticed about you since you got here from day one is your toughness, right? When I was playing, an enforcer was known as like a Charles Oakley or, you know, Anthony Mason, some of those guys. Do you consider yourself like one of, if not the enforcer for this Northern Pelicans basketball team? I guess to this point, yeah, you know, um, at first I did when people started kind of giving me the role, but to this point, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm the one standing up for my guys every time. I'm the one who they count on to bring that toughness and energy outside of Jose. So I definitely would say that, but I like the knife better though. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. You got a, you got a saying, right? It says, Pelicans way or no way. Get with us or get lost. What's that mean? And to tell you the proofs of the pudding, you can even be a fan of us or get out of here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the bandwagon is definitely full, so <laughs> please stay where you at. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. You know, I'm yeah. proud of you, my man. Every game is important, especially at home. I really think that we have the best atmosphere in the entire league. Let's go! Our fans show up in numbers, and they are very loud. I think that's New Orleans in us. Mr. Crib, the city deserves this. We want to do something special. We're a work hard team like this city. We like to stay connected and stay together like this city. We like to have a good time doing it like this city. And we're not just going to take anything from anybody like this city. This Pelican squad certainly loves this town, and we know you do too. New Orleans is such a special place to live. We're all lucky to call it home. Now that the holidays have come to a close, we want to take a look back at Mrs. Gail Benson and her season of giving, because if there is anyone who epitomizes giving back to the community, it is certainly Mrs. Bates. You know, that's what it's all about. That's what Christmas is all about. And I'm so happy that I have the opportunity to be able to do this. So I feel like it's a blessing to me to be able to do this. This hits home for me because my big sister uh, played volleyball in the Special Olympics. So just seeing her give out to the community and how much this means to these people uh, means a lot. So thank you, Miss B, for being awesome. Thank you.
pretty special to you know have her and you know, such a kind heart that's um, you know willing to you know do do little things and big things to, you know help out the New Orleans community. She doesn't let any little thing go unnoticed, big or small. You know she want to be here, a part of the community, the best she can, and every opportunity she gets, she does that, and that just shows what kind of person she is. You know outside of her status, just her heart in general. She has a big heart, and uh, she loves New Orleans.